I'm ready. <laughs> what up? Let's get to it. Oh, uh, man. So Kevin O'Connell has high praise, has high praise by Ivan Pace Jr., dog. And you already know Ivan Pace Jr. is back in zero as well, huh? He's back in zero as well, huh? <laughs> Oh, man, I'm talking about just like it could get scary for Harry. <laughs> it could get scary with Harry, huh? It could get scary with Pace, homie. Yeah, I've been Pace Jr. You think he ain't finna show out, dog? He got that zero back on his chest, homie. <laughs> that number he always wanted. That number that was wrong. Oh, man. <laughs> the number that was so horribly represented for Marcus Davenport. Soft boy, chunk boy, punk boy, didn't want to play. I'm glad the Lions got him. I'm glad the Lions got him, homie. <laughs> I'm surprised that the Lions, though. I'm surprised that the Lions go heavy here. <laughs> Especially Dan Campbell. Dan Campbell, the type of coach he is. Definitely shocked that he will want a player like that, like Marcus Davenport. What? What enticed them? Oh, I get it. Probably his skills when he's on the field. But to me, he's a softy, homie, a softy, homie. He wants to play when he wants to play. He will not give you that same energy, same effort week in, week out, dog. He picks and chooses. He picks and chooses. You hear me? <laughs> he wants to get his bread. That's it. Get his bread. Maybe play hard one game. Show out. Milk injury. Don't put the full recovery effort in and get his payday, homie. So Marcus Davenport, get up out the building, homie. Oh, my bad. <laughs> you are out the building. You hear me happy, dog? Big school here. Shout out Ivan Pace back in number zero. Back in number zero. Eat heavy, dog. Eat heavy. You hear me? Let them know, Ivan Pace Jr., dog. They still doubt you. You still underrated, homie. You hear me, dog? You get my drift? You still underrated. They still think you cap. They still think you can't take on linemen coming at you. They still think you can't run through a lineman guard face, homie. They think you sorry and washed already, homie. Prove them wrong, Pace. Prove them wrong, dog. Kill the haters, kill the noise, homie. You hear me? <laughs> Hands down, man down, 1,000, big dog. But Kevin O'Connell has had great things to say about Ivan Pace, homie, especially his on-field intelligence, on-field intelligence, which I'm sure has improved, man, times 10, times 10. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? He did a magnificent job last season as far as having a green dot. What? Woo! That boy was ready. That boy was ready, huh? That boy came with it. Rookie UDFA. Who expected it, homie? Who expected it, dog? Starter. Undrafted to a starter. Undrafted to a starter. You hear me? Yeah, man. That's what it's about, homie. That's what it's about. You no, know, he back in that zero, huh? Kind of like a S on his chest. You hear me? Oh, he finna eat. He finna eat, dog. Keep that chip on your shoulder, homie. Keep that chip on your shoulder, big dog. But yeah, Kevin O'Connell, matter of fact, Let's get into some of the things Kevin O'Connell has said, has been saying about this dude I've been paced up. You hear me? Phenomenal player. You hear me? Let's get it, man. Let's see just exactly what Kevin O'Connell has been saying about this guy, man. You hear me? You hear me? Here we go. Here we go. Make sure this setting. Here we go. Here we go. Kevin O'Connell praises Ivan Pace Jr. for his intelligence. Oh, okay. Drafted free agency is a process that can be taken advantage of if you scout well enough. The Minnesota Vikings have made that process a priority the last two seasons. It's especially important because they only made 13 draft picks the last two years and starting to and are starting to extend their players to market level deals. The Vikings kept three undrafted free agents in 2023, with the biggest crown jewel being inside linebacker Ivan Pace Jr. <laughs> Heavy man, shout out. Shout out Pace, you hear me? A projected fourth, a projected fourth round pick paid to the ranks of being undrafted because he is abnormally small for the position at 5'10, 231. Hold up. Don't disrespect. Don't disrespect him, you son of a woo. Who you disrespecting, huh? Who you disrespecting? Hold up, man. Who they disrespecting? Abnormally small? What that mean? What you trying to say, dog? He gonna change the position. He gonna change the position, you hear me? The nerve, the audacity of these beat writers, these journalists, they got the nerve to say abnormally small, like it's an issue, like it's a problem, homie. <laughs> he was so-called too small last season. What'd he do? Eat heavy? Eat heavy cause havoc? Oh, did he get blocked out, washed out some place? Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Duh, it's part of the game. 
You tell me what linebacker hasn't got washed out of some plays, gotten pancaked, huh? Even Ray Lewis, huh? Lawrence Taylor, <laughs> every linebacker, every linebacker, homie. Stop hating on the man. Stop hating on the man. But Ivan Pace, keep that chip, homie. Keep that chip on your shoulder, big dog. Eat heavy, man. Let him know what's up. Let him know what's up, man. Don't get complacent. Stay hungry, big dog. Stay hungry. You hear me? 1,000, homie. A fellow linebacker Jordan Hicks went out with compartment syndrome in his leg last year. Pace was given a green dot and thrived with it. Head coach Kevin O'Connell went out of his way to shout out how far along Pace is going in, into his second year. Let's get it, man. Yeah, I think you're seeing a little bit with, with Ivan Pace Jr. and Pace is still remarkable, even where he is at right now. To think that this is just his second year, he's had a very good spring. Just the type of communication Brian Flores is putting on his plate. We also want to have Blake Cashman and Kamul Kruger Hill ready to handle some of that green dot work. Shout out Cashman, shout out Kruger. B.A. Brian Asamoah, where you at Asamoah? Where you at Asamoah? We need you on the field. Has done it a little bit in the past. So you look at those four guys and some of the down down as some of the down the line young guys we have we got abe abraham bull playing back as well abraham bull playing man that boy's fast that boy's fast did videos on him last all season dog check him out homie boy big and he can run second year in <laughs> woo. second year in we can get it dog the depth of that room just the versatility and that's when you continue to say man we're versatile in that room but we also have josh metellus cam bynum harrison smith theo jackson lewis seen <laughs> lou probably out the door lou probably out the door and they spelled his name wrong what's up what's up they spelled his name wrong let's get it all these guys that are really interchangeable jay ward to possibly play in those dime groupings nickel groupings when they can go inside so it's really unique and i think brian flores if he prefers it one way it's the type of depth we have now love some of the additions the energy the fit of some of the guys we really featured to go after in free agency and once again very very hard to project based on the learning phase of how we do things here but i can tell you i leave here every day excited about what that group looks like and more importantly when it when it can become once what it can become once we get through August. All right, Kevin O'Connell, I hear you, homie. I hear you, homie, heavy. <laughs> yeah, man. So not even just I've been paced junior, the linebacker room is stacked. I ain't know they still had bull playing heavy, homie. I ain't know they still had bull playing, though, homie. He's fast. I'm excited to see what he would do. I expected to see him last year. We're talking about 4 4 4 5. Go look him up. Go check the videos out, homie. Abraham Blue playing, dog. He might be a baller, homie. A sleeper, you hear me? <laughs> but shout out Ivan Pace, man. That shows you the work, you know, the discipline he's been putting in, dog. Uh, you know, the mental work as well, man. You feel me? Heavy. The intelligence on the field, improving his IQ, IQ you know, studying the game, dog. Putting that work in for real, dog. Getting bigger, getting faster, stronger. Whatever he needed to do. However he needed to improve his game, get stronger at the point of attack, whatever. I'm sure he's doing it, dog. So shout out Kevin O'Connell for giving him props. But I'm super excited to see how he performs, man, how he produces, dog. Excited to see him on his journey and continue his journey heavy, homie. Shout out Ivan Pace Jr. I know he's going to ball out. You're probably talking about pro bowler, huh? Pro bowler, dog, heavy. Watch him change the game. Watch him change the game, homie. <laughs> Big school here, man. How you feel about it? You agree or disagree, man? Love, fire them comments up. Feedback is much appreciated, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm on the rock and roll. Support the grind. Support the channel, man. Big school here. Score Vikes forever. Win, lose, or draw, man. Forever. Heavy. <laughs> yeah.